A new leader for the LNP State Conference with a new lineup and a new way to beat Labor. I disagree with many of the things that Pauline Hanson says, but I acknowledge that there are a large number of people who voted for her. At the last federal election, Pauline Hanson got 9% of the vote in Queensland, 15% in Wide Bay, 18 in Maranoa, 19 in Hinkler, and a massive 21% between Brisbane and the Gold Coast. A preference deal with One Nation would likely make Tim Nichols Premier. We need to be uh, putting Labor in the Greens last at the, uh, the next state election. Last time they did, though, Rob Borbidge and the former coalition government lost. One Nation is a problem for both the LNP and the Labor Party. Borbidge advised against getting into bed with Pauline Hanson. His party overruled him. We won't be going, getting into bed with One Nation. What we're doing is, uh, is sending a message that Queensland just simply can't afford another three years of this Labor government. But as keen as his president is, Tim Nicholls says a final decision hasn't been made. We have to respect the views that people have in, uh, in, in supporting Pauline Hanson. I don't agree with them. Labor has the same problem. Who to put last so they come first? What Tim Nicholls wants is a Nicholls a Hanson government. So far, there seems only one winner. Shane Doherty, Nine News.